Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tom here from Electric Games and welcome to a new video covering the brand new Metroid Dread which was released on the 8th of October. Rarely does a game gain such a lore when devoted fanbase as the Metroid series has over the last 35 years. Beginning in 1986 and progressing chapter by chapter until today, Metroid has a fanbase fierce enough to extensively rival some football clubs. Fast forward to this year and it seemed as though Metroid was down and out, a sequel was not ready. But, then arguably the biggest announcement came out of E3 2021, Metroid Dread, an action adventure game built solely for the Switch consoles by Mercury Steam and Nintendo. The Metroid Dread project began because of a window of opportunity. The Nintendo Switch finally brought the hosting technology capable of hosting Metroid producer Yoshio Sakamoto's vision of what Dread should look and play like. It has been years of towing and throwing since rumours of a Dread release surfaced 16 years ago. Surrounded by apocryphal conjecture and whistleblowers, but the Metroid community remained strong throughout. Upon its pre-order release, Metroid Dread, the last game in narrative arc, broke records on GameStop and Nintendo. The community is that big. Fans of the series are set to receive exactly what they have waited a good portion of their lives for. A 2D, side-scrolling sequel to the events of the 2002 release Metroid Fusion. What a time to be alive. Metroid Dread takes us straight into the heart of Samus Aran's character arc, as the famed bounty hunter is tasked to investigate a world gone rogue. Planet ZDR, a task force of EMMI robots were assigned to discern if the cosmic conjecture about surviving sex of X parasites was true, but the robots quickly went AWOL. Obviously, Samus isn't too happy about this. She thought she wiped them out during the events of Fusion, so she works with the Galactic Federation and visits ZDR herself. Upon her landing, all was not well. Samus encounters a wise ethereal Chozo warrior. And from here the dread story begins, starting as it means to go on. A tense, gripping story from the outset. And it is not long before we are completely ensconced in Aaron's mission. As we traverse the myriad biomes of planet ZDR, and its magnificently designed mazes of caves, magma chambers, underwater ruins, and steel labyrinths, Aaron is sure to encounter variety of defective EMMI. Robots of all sizes and skill track Aaron through their claimed home turf, and if they catch her, they execute her on sight. No wonder this game is called Metroid Dread. To avoid the grisly death at the hands of rogue artificial intelligence, we must use stealth and sneak about, furtively dashing in and out of each nook and cranny. But upon detection, we have only two choices. Stay, put and try to penetrate the robot's thick plated armor, or make a sprint for it in hopes you will stumble across the Omega Cannon. Chance would be a fine thing. The guys at Mercury Steam have somehow turned some concepts bordering banality into a vibrant, encapsulating collection of biomes. For each location can we find and forge different paths. But we can also return to each location to seek out further upgrades, and the like if we choose to. The expectation at Adora Dread was skyward and intense. It would have been quite easy to disappoint fans, but the design of this world is immaculate and realises the hope of many a stoical Metroid fan. As we turn our line of sight away from the beautiful backdrop onto what remains, it becomes increasingly obvious that ZDR harbours the vestigial infrastructure of a once thriving civilization. What other secrets lay hidden in the subterranean network? What really happened here? Huge creatures lay dormant, a fossil of, or a product of, that's planet ZDR history for you, and it would be a great, great shame if Samus Aran woke them up. Yikes. We can run all we want, but inevitably we will at some point find ourselves trapped, and then we will have to pull up a fight. Fortunately, Samus is equipped with an arsenal of weapons and evasion techniques to use at her discretion. The upgradable beam fire and arm cannon coming first and foremost. Otherwise, Samus can avail herself off the eagerly awaited melee counter the grapple beam or a missile to fend off any threatening EMMI robots. That said, Samus can also slide, jump, cling onto certain surfaces using a spider magnet, she can morph into a ball to traverse tight spaces, and she can also employ flash shift as both a defensive and offensive maneuver. Or, if you go about it in the right way, Samus can simply submerge herself in the phantom cloak. Come on, we can't complain that our toolbox is incomplete. Though combat and movement are extremely fluid, clean and fast paced from the get go, additional enhancement to weapon, ability and suit are unlockable 
as the tale of dread plays out. We will need such boosts where boss enemies lay a few scenes ahead, else we will end up only Metroid dead. It's a given that Metroid Dread will end up in the history books. It'll go down as one of the most celebrated and venerated Nintendo games of all time. A decade or so from now, we will look back at Dread with the same wistful adoration as we now have about titles from my early gaming careers, like Metroid Fusion. Utilizing some phenomenally thrilling gameplay as a result of intense combat and silky movement mechanics, and placing the environment perfect at allowing the Metroidvania narrative to occur. Metroid Dread is likely to live up to the year's worth of hype and buzz surrounding it. Thank you very much for watching this video on Metroid Dread. I hope you all enjoyed this video and are looking forward to hopping into Metroid Dread as we all are. If you would like more of what we have to offer, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to keep notified as to when we upload a new video. Also, feel free to like the video and leave a comment with any creative feedback that you may have for us, or what your opinions are on the new game. Anyway, that is all for now, so I hope you have a fantastic day, and we will see you all in our next video. Farewell, and stay electric.